Hello everyone. In this video, we will see an exercise on our tricks. The objective of this particular exercise is what is the use of joint multiple tool in Altrix. So this is basically joint multiple tool which we are going to have it under the joint tab. So for this purpose, we have to input the data. We have to load the data. So we have to go to this in out tab, drag this input data tool. So we have to connect the data to this. Go to this particular configuration pane, click on this particular drop down, so it will redirect us to the data connection window. So, if there will be a selected path, the path is already been given, so we can directly click on that particular path of the file. Now, the path for the file named as Sales 2017 that copy has been selected. So we will select the range. So we will go to this particular and we will select the range as month underscore one. I will click on OK. So the preview is available over here. So this is basically consisting of three fields or three columns. So I'll just click on run so that the data will be available in the Z workspace over here. So you can also press Ctrl R. Yeah, the data is available over here. So we can see that particular data. Now what I will do, I'll just copy and paste Ctrl C, go to over here and Ctrl V. So it is being pasted over here. So I'll again make it as Ctrl C for copy and then press Ctrl V for paste. So we will require three inputs because we are using this joint multiple tool in which we can uh, use the input data tool multiple. So three will be the input. Now we can see this particular input data tool 1, input data tool 2 and this is third one. So we will go to over here and I will just click on this particular. So it will ask us to select the field or we can select the range. So I will go over here and I will select the range as EMP, EMP stands for employees, employees. I will just click. We will just click on run so that the result workflow will be available. Now, with the help of this particular join multiple tool, what we have to do? So, in the first case, you can see that month underscore y. So, it will be consisting of three fields. Now, EMP employee. So, this is consisting of two fields. So, we are going to combine all these fields. With all these columns will be combined. Now, I will go over here. Go to this configuration pane and click on this table or query and select any other range. Now I will select the range as record underscore id. Record id. I will just click on OK and I will just click on run. So over here we can see that in case of this particular record ID, two fields are being listed. So three fields were there in the month underscore one. In second one EMP there was another two fields. So three plus two is five, and then in the last one there are two fields in record ID. So seven fields. How we are going to comment that we will see. Now go to this join tab. Bring this join multiple tools over here. 
and connect this all input data tools with this particular join multiple tool. So as we can see that over here three inputs will be connected to this join multiple tool which is available under the join tab. First, second and third. Okay. So what you have to do, go to this particular configuration pane, click on join by record, record position and then we have to click on run so that all the uh, range tables will be common so that we will get the output come on. click on run so over here we are getting when i will click on this output anchor join multiple so i will get the seven field one two three four five six seven so i hope you have understood this particular video Thanks for watching and have a nice day.